see, but this is the one that you'll see in France later this year with us. And there's the pub in all its glory. The scene of the crime from the karaoke last month. <laughs> Luckily I didn't have enough to drink to partake in that. So this is Nobby now, the replacement for um, Dixie, as we know, the Holly Round way of grabbing a good machine and then doing it. I think there's, there's a little bit of <coughs> bits and pieces that need sorting, obviously. What's the problem? I don't know. <laughs> you see what a fucking leak. Oh, if I only we knew somebody that could fix it. Oh, fuck's sake. Hey. Hello. Well, we've been away, and um, we, last time we did a video, I think it was January, end of January. It's now end of March, but we've been really busy over the last few weeks and you will remember I mentioned my dad last time last time we were going away and sadly he passed away on the 20th of February and we used to do these videos for dad because he was sort of confined to barracks for a couple of years and as I mentioned they always liked caravanning so we used to do these videos so he could catch up with us and and uh, see where we were going off to and he used to love the videos but um, yeah we had his funeral last Friday uh, and he would want us to be out and about and enjoying ourselves So we're off this weekend with Nikki and Paul. Nikki and Paul have got a new van. <coughs> and we're off this weekend to the Ship and Anchor near Ford, Ford Open Prison um, actually, um, which is near Bogner Regis, if you know Bogner. And yeah, so tomorrow night is um, karaoke night. Was it? <laughs> I didn't know that. <laughs> hey. oh. <laughs> but you heard a heard a pin drop when he taught his stuff to lock the door. Yes, tomorrow's karaoke night. Uh, and if you know Steve, you'll know that he loves a karaoke. He normally hogs the book. Right, you gotta know when to hold it. Weather looks, well, traffic is usual usual traffic situation going on on a Friday um, but we're gonna go and have a lovely time so we'll see you later catch up later bye Yee. absolutely gorgeous here trains coming. There's a lot of trains pass through here. <laughs> Oof. I don't know why it's not focusing. Apparently it stinks. So this is um, a short walk from the Ship and Anchor near Ford or in Ford. Really lovely, look the moon's up there. Beautiful. Very lovely. Right Keisha, stay there. Lots of trains come by here. We're just try and wave. Look out for people waving on the train. <laughs> I think they're interested in one thing and it is not us waving at them.
you being a amateur? Yeah, I can't twist it. I'm normally alright, but... Well, hold, the, hold this. And let's see if I can manage it. Are we popping? Yeah. You're going for a pop? Yeah. Whoop! Oh, nothing to see yeah, here. Yeah, nothing to see. <laughs> Video. So we're here at the Ship and Anchor. Ooh, looks lovely. Let's go and check it out. <laughs> False gold. Oh, my amazing fish pie. Kiki's got fish and chips. And these two have got ham, egg, and chips. And the Timothy and, uh, Taylor's landlord. Timothy Taylor's landlord. Thank you, Steve. <laughs> with real food. We're looking for a train now. Apparently. So we're catching a train. We think we need the other platform. Well, they're gone then. Oh, there they come. Chris is taking us on a walk across a train. Ah, I see. Oh, yeah. There they Oh blimey, nerd alert. Ooh, I have to go in there. Ah, a train is coming. But it also says, always keep the dogs on a short leap. Carry them when getting off the train to ensure they have a lovely day out. Long leads can get trapped in train doors causing serious injury. Look, Keisha. Look, on a short lead. That's your introduction to trains. Look. There's a train coming. There's a train, look. Look, a train coming. And that's the River Arran. Service to London Victoria. The station is Hello, dogs. Why have you got a headache? So, dogs are allowed on the train, but they have to be on a short lead. And you have to carry them on and off. Yeah, apparently so. Didn't know that. <laughs> so, the uh, one pound tuppence a minute, six pound ten return from the campsite to the historic town of Arundel which is where we are now. So I have found something historical to look at. Apparently over there is the site of the famous place where the man spilt his tea in his lap. <laughs> but uh, it's 12 o'clock so that means we need a beer before we start looking around. Chris is looking for the next drink obviously. Nice. Red lion. Red lion. Don't like that one. Just go in there. It's a bit confined. Come on. Chris Come is on going to look. Then. She knows a pub. Fourteen is Honey by Andy Williams. Okay. 
Not your favourite type of shop here. It's Chris's favourite shop, not yours, Steve. Hat shop. Look at that hat there. Hey, <laughs> <laughs> Milner's. Yeah. Stuff in here. The Andrews sisters. Look at them. Yeah. See, these are pounds. Bargain. Yeah. Yeah. Fanny Adams. So that's the cathedral there. The castle's behind us, but it's 27 quid, so we can't afford to video it. There's more, but we don't allow dogs. Ah, they don't allow dogs. And also, I'm not sure it's a real castle, is it? And we're looking at the view of that pub, because Paul and I are busting for a pee after the last pub. St Mary's Gate pub, we're just about to go and evaluate. again because we ran out of gas but we're on a hookup anyway so we tend to use the induction so we've got to fill up on the way home yes it was a chilly night but luckily we had our very toggy duvet on and we did warm it up with the ceramic heater as well that we used yeah that's good that's well worth an investment we found that it's better than a fan heater. It gives a more rounded heat. Maybe. Would you display it? It's behind your ear hole, oh, actually. Yes. Just to wave it. Yes, and that fills up the whole van with lovely heat from the mains. That's good. We bought it in Ullapool in a little electrical shop in Scotland. Uh, what the good points of what? <laughs> of this vehicle, whether it's oh, yes, a... Oh yes, this is Nobby Nouse. So. The, the Nobby Nouse is um, going to be Why staying with us. Why are we just or not? <laughs> <laughs> this is Dixie Normus's replacement. Um, yeah, it needs a, I think with a, a bit, little bit of TLC and clean and replacement of a few bits and bobs. See, that's this door. This is amazing, this door, that's isn't it? It's really handy. Like this morning, I just get to change. It's like a dressing room. Yeah. I also yes, like it. the fact that when you're sitting here, oh, I can reach everything. I'm like, 
cooking, I'll reach everything that I need, reach the fridge. It is very nice. Yeah. It is really nice. I really do like the space. Obviously, I'm not a fan of the coach built. As you know, they can leak sometimes, do you know? <laughs> I mean, we picked up the bowls. Not leaking this the morning. Yeah. Oh, sunny, lovely. Yeah, I wish I video just today when it was absolutely hammering in here <laughs> and bone dry outside. <laughs> I don't understand that. <laughs> right, so I should go and have my breakfast now. Back in Ermintrude. We're still holding our own. Coming in, Keisha. Eggs different than me. Well, I my only criticism from yesterday was your eggs were a little bit overdone for me personally. So I'm not doing it that way. Yeah, that told me. <laughs> this you could also make beans on toast with the kit you've got there. Just in case this is messing with anyone's OCD, um, the cunning design of this cutlery is that each piece of cutlery has a different colour handle. Oh god. I think oh. they can work that out for themselves. It's time saving. <laughs> that means you can always ensure that you have a knife and fork and a teaspoon and or dessert spoon. I suppose it's a bit of a slow news day. <laughs> Oh, you stick it on the window and then peel it off, do you? Oh. What's the other stickers? <laughs> UK. Oh. That needs to essentially go on. And a van life. And the motorhome mums. <laughs> <laughs> right. Is that right? Yes. Yeah. yeah, left hand down. Oh, too late. <laughs> 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 yeah, and then, oh, left hand down. Hey, very nice look. Morning. You have to do the walk of shame. Dog okay. food. Wine bottles. Not bad camps like this. I'm sure Chris will give you a walk around before we leave. Right, you're off. Yes, I'm going to do a walk around of the toilets and facilities. Okay. Bye. Yes. Bye. All right. Oh. Is it raining today, Paul? Oh, for sake. <laughs> What's that? Right, at least you could get an ever filling dog bowl. Yes, a couple of little things to solve. Walk around of the facilities. Nice little reception. The chemical disposal, waste water. Then you have your washing up area. facilities over here but I think that's you have to use a key to get in there. Pay a five pound deposit for the key. Oh well well <laughs> I've never seen one of those at a campsite before. There you go, that's your hot tub. This is where to come. A ship and anchor. Uh, showers and I used those showers yesterday. They look a bit basic but actually they're really nice really nice shower lots of pressure nice and hot oh i left my stinky winky in it yesterday <laughs> oh well obviously nobody's been in here since um toilets are plenty let's go to the end just in case we're missing anything uh, nope 
and wash basins, hair dryer. But yeah, no heating on in here, but I think it's not busy, so. But yeah, I'm just really impressed with the bath. <laughs> there you go, I'm easily pleased. about 20 quid for a full tank. It's a pound a litre. Bargain. Pound a litre. Just got to find it somewhere. That's always the issue, finding someone that still does LPG. 99.9 per litre in fact. That's about a quid, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> That's interesting. The whole LPG community. <laughs> when you go up and fill up, and the bloke, hey, LPG, next to me, and he's like running his vehicle off it. I went, oh, 99.9 per litre, and he said, I remember when it was 79 per litre. <laughs> I don't really get that anymore. I try to concentrate on driving now. Yes, concentrate on driving. Okay.